Amy Davis modeled in her own life what the Denver Hospice aims to give every patient. More from life. As a child on her family's Wyoming ranch, she gained a sense of adventure and the grit to accompany it. Over the years, Amy's adventures included professional stints at NBC News, the Wyoming State Legislature, and even the West Wing of the White House. Here she is on a small sailboat, still smiling on what became an unexpectedly harrowing journey from San Diego to Hawaii. She loved that story. No doubt she preferred the land, always returning to the beloved Y Cross Ranch, which she helped manage for many years before moving to Denver. Amy also loved her parents, whom she called the best in the world. She ran the family foundation named after them, and through her work at the Patton Davis Foundation, she made lasting contributions to communities in Wyoming and Colorado. At the Denver Hospice, a major donation from Amy helped build our inpatient care center. She personally contributed to the design and artwork to ensure it felt comfortable and welcoming for patients. Then, in 2014, staff cheered as she wowed us with a $5 million endowment for the care center. Soon after, Amy left us after a battle with cancer. She chose to spend her final days in the inpatient care center, where she donated beautiful, lifelike sculptures of aspen trees as a reminder of how we are all connected in this journey of life. Amy's legacy, her connection to community, continues. Just this year, we completed construction on our new hospice support and grief center named in her honor. The Amy Davis Center was built with an additional $4 million donation from her foundation. Every day, we are reminded of Amy, her commitment to helping others, her example of a vibrant life.